designandmake.com. Let's start off by going over to store.designandmake.com and in the search bar type in sports fan and then click go. And there's the project right there we're looking for. So let's click on that. Let's have a look through all the great models that come along with this project. Tons of wonderfully designed single models with super high detail. Also, the two included layouts that come along with it, easily customized for all kinds of different awards or occasions. Of course, like all of our projects, it comes with a project sheet for lots of inspiration and also it makes a great pre-sales tool. Down at the very bottom, we've got lots of food for thought ideas to get you inspired. And then we have a project specific hack. So if you happen to have the Local Heroes Police Officer project, you could create this Charity Golf Classic Award. If you're happy with that, you can just add it to your cart, check out and download the installer and get it right into your software. At first glance, you might think that this project is really only suited for the real true sports fans out there. Well, that's not entirely true. When we came up with this project, we decided to make it so that it was useful for pretty much any sports application out there. In this case, I was thinking of maybe an award that could be given away at a sports banquet at the end of a year for a football club or a soccer club. Now, of course, I've chosen the football player here or the soccer player here, and you could choose any of the sports that we represent in this sports project to replace him with if you want to. Now, let's have a quick look at the layout that I came up with. If we take a look at our modeling tab, you'll see that I have three different levels set up. And you may ask yourself, why do you have three different levels set up? Because you could do this all on one level if you wanted to. And that's entirely true, except that during my layout process, I wanted to take advantage of setting up base heights for my levels so that anything that fell on these levels would start at a certain base height automatically. So we'll see if I choose level number one and look at my component properties. This is actually actually my level properties. You'll see that I have a base height of just over a quarter inch for anything that falls on that level. And so, as I said, during my design process, that was important to be able to have that flexibility. Now, once I was done with that, I created my tooling. And you'll see over here in my toolpaths tab, I really only have four different toolpaths. I have one that's an end mill, one is that's a tapered ball nose end mill, a V-bit, and then of course my end mill again to cut this out with. Now, one of the important things I wanted to add into this was I wanted it to be able to stand up on its own like a trophy would. So if you take a look at my material setup, you'll see that I'm using a really thick piece of material and my layout or my composite model or my composite layout is pushed all the way to the top of my material. So if you look at my gap below the model, you'll see that it's just over a half inch. So that gives me a half inch of backing. So this hopefully will stand up all by itself. Another feature that I built into this layout is that the two points on the fan banner, this point here and this point here, are lined up with the knee. So when I do stand this up, hopefully that will give me three points of contact so that this will stand up just like a trophy should. Let's have a quick look at the tooling. There's nothing special here going on. I have a very basic roughing pass. Let's preview that. And it goes through about seven different passes because again, this is quite a thick piece of material. And also I wanted to have my relief quite proud. So it looked really nice and sharp. Here's my finishing pass. Now I'm gonna use a tapered ball nose for this one. It's a, um, a 1 8 inch tapered ball nose. And it got all the detail that I wanted, especially in the face. Now, if I wanted to get even more detail, I could have added in a second tool, maybe a 1 16th tapered ball nose. And then I could have gone ahead and done a little bit of rest machining that would have given me even more detail in this face. But I felt the material that I was going to use, probably that wouldn't really matter in the end. So this I'm really quite happy with. Let's go ahead and add in some V carving. Now, this is a very fictitious football club. It's called the Midland football club and I just kind of made that logo on my own using some really basic vectors, added in some text and all of that is highly customizable. So you can use this for any position, any player, any club that you want to. And then of course my last toolpath will be my cutout toolpath and that just is going to run and leave me some nice tabs and that should allow me to easily pop this out of my material and start 
with the finishing. Now you will note that I didn't put any tabs on the bottom. I wanted my cutout pass to actually be nice and clean around those points of contact so that I wouldn't need to touch those with a sander and that way they would be nice and even and true all the time. designandmake.com.